going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? How's everybody doing this wonderful evening? So, my birthday was just a few days ago, and my sister got me a new mold. And here it is. My sister got me the Epic Bait Mold 2-inch Crappie Slayer. This is an awesome mold. I've wanted this mold for a very, very long time. There's what it looks like on the inside. That thing looks great. Uh, it's a 2-inch, like I said, and it does 24. So you shoot this one time. You have 24 baits. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So instead of just like doing one color to just kind of show you and everything, how it, how it works like that, I thought we'd do three colors with this. We're gonna do three colors. We're gonna do, I'm kind of using like two different colors to make this one. We're gonna do like a pink lemonade slash like electric chicken. So I'm gonna do neon pink for the top and I'm gonna do chartreuse for the bottom and I think I'm gonna put black flake with the pink and silver flake with the chartreuse. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pearl in each color just to kind of give it that little extra pizzazz. Then we're gonna do some baby bass. I really wanna see the color baby bass in this thing. I think it's gonna look awesome. And then we're just gonna do something kind of crazy. I'm looking for like a black and white, you know, minnow, but I'm gonna use some dead on plastics uh, color shift. Um, we're gonna use a couple of them. We'll put a couple drops of white couple drops of maybe blue or black we're just kind of make it up and see what it looks like I don't know how it's gonna look we'll just go from there but I'm probably not gonna show you me making the first two but I definitely will show show you all make it me making the last one there so without further ado let's get to making some baits all right we are ready to shoot this I got the top here and the bottom on this side so I want the pink to be on the top so here we go let me flip this around there we go shouldn't need too much Bring it up over here. Oh, get that in there. And here we go. We're shooting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold a little bit of pressure. Top her off. Just right there. Put that back in there. All right, we'll let that cool down for a few minutes. So. If you are wondering, I put 20 drops of the neon pink and I put 25 drops of the uh, chartreuse and the chartreuse and I did everything. Oops, let me top this off real fast. I'll finish what I was saying there in just a second. There we go. And then I put a half of an eighth of a teaspoon of glitter in each one of these and I put a half of half, half of an eighth teaspoon of pearl white mica powder in each one of these to give it that little bit of see that in there can you guys see that looks pretty cool all right we'll let that cool down for a little bit and i'll show you the reveal all right i'm pretty excited to see these how they look so as you can see i got it in my vise here and i got i had to put two extra clamps on it because i was afraid this was too tall so i'll take these clamps off and one do this slide this out And here we go. It'll fall out. Oh wow, those turned out awesome. Those turned out cool. Oh yeah, those laminated great. Check those out. There's the pink side. There's the chartreuse size. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's take one of them off right there. Oh yeah. I'll take that every day of the week, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Those look great sweet all right i'm going to shoot these one more time and then we'll move on to the next color so stay tuned all right this baby bass is ready to go let me get my gloves on here there we go okay let's tighten that up tighten that up there we go all right let's take just a little bit Well, that white seems like it was hotter than what was reading on my digital thermometer there. Let's see what happens. Okay. Sweet. So, on the baby bass, let me tell you about the colors. 
So I used the color Baby Bass from Lure Works. I put seven drops in there. I also spiked it with some of this green highlight mica powder. And I put uh, 0 .040 uh, black flake and 0 .015 gold flake. And I used an eighth teaspoon for the black. And I used about a half of an eighth teaspoon for the gold. On the white side, I used this white pearl mica powder by Lure Works. And three, uh, sorry. Yeah, three drops of white dead on plastic, and that's what I came up with. I didn't put any flake in the white section, so. All right, we'll let that cool down for a few minutes, and I'll show you the reveal here in just a moment. All right, y'all ready to see these baby bass? So, let's take a look. It's going to fall on the top there. Oh, yeah. Those came out perfect. Check those out see that last one there oh yeah that big flake looks great on there sweet let's pull one off and take a good look at it here look at that good line this thing laminates great oops got plastic on my finger there yeah this thing looks great let's take off a couple more look at that that one almost made it look like a lateral line in it yeah this look great all right we'll put those uh We'll put those in the water, let them uh, chill for a little bit, put them on the rack. But uh, I'm going to clean everything up and we're getting ready for the last color. And I think you all are going to like it. Alright, so let's make this color here. Let's do the bottom first. So as you can see, I have rubber gloves on. This stuff is really easy to make a mess out of. This stuff is Dead On's Frost. This is color shift and it's very, very light and it's very, very easy to make a mess. This stuff like just floats around in the air. I actually make my colors when I'm using this stuff on one of these trays. I'm gonna put a half of an eighth of a teaspoon in there. And then when I'm done, I actually dip it in my plastic to lock that into place. Put that to the side and I close this lid as fast as I can because this stuff goes everywhere you know how you drizzle like this over the powder I actually make sure I cover like everything because this stuff like you will find this like days from now on your clothing up in your house and stuff like that all right I think we're good Now look at that. See that blue flake in there? See if I can get a little bit closer to you guys. See that blue in there? That's awesome. Now by itself, it's it's amazing. But we're going to add some white to it. For a bottom, like a bluegill would have. I'm not a bluegill, I'm sorry, not a bluegill, a minnow would have. So I'm going to go one, two, three, I guess three drops. I was going to go two. And that should really give us look at that look at that that white really brings out that color shift let's see if I want to add any more I'm gonna add two more drops of that and I'm done I'm done yeah it really thickens it up and you can really see that blue in there so Right, we're gonna say the white is done and we'll set it up here then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastic off of this and it cleans out your uh, the inside of your spoon there all right so this is dead on Mars it's got like a bluish to it like a bluish reddish color and I think it'll actually look good with the top color I'm gonna do like a half a scoop again of this so a half of an eighth of a teaspoon I'm 
dip my spoon in there set it to the side hurry up and put this lid on there so you can see this stuff it's on my gloves right now because you just can't see it floating around like it does but it's it's tough I'm gonna make sure this covers all of that I'll take it under Oh, my plastic kind of got started setting up on me there. All right, I'm going to put this in the microwave for like a few more seconds. So hope, bear with me. All right, I threw that back in the microwave just for a few more seconds. Get it back up in there. So look at this color shift. It's got a lot of blue in it. It's got some reds in it. And then we're going to take, I'm going to take one drop of this blue from Dead On Plastic. One drop. Now look at it. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's going to be great. I'm going to add one more drop of blue. I had the black sitting there in case I needed it. But I don't think we're going to need it. I don't think we're going to need it at all. Yeah, we're not going to need it at all. Look at that. That is a cool looking minnow color right there. So let me clean off my knife here. So look at that. That's going to be our minnow color right there. So, all right, I'm going to clean up this mess a little bit. And next time you see that, we're going to be shooting it. All right, let's shoot these. Let me check the temperature one time here. That's at 351. That's at 3. I didn't like that reading. 332 on that one. Let's get this one down a little bit. That one's at 330. They're both at 332 right now. So, all right, can you guys see that? Oh, whoops, let me do that. There we go. Let's get that back together. All right, let's shoot these. This is going to be a cool color. I don't know what to expect with this color shift. I just made this up. All right, held some pressure. I think it looks good. Oops, didn't mean to make all that noise, but all right let's let that sit for a few minutes and i'll show you what they look like here i think they're gonna look pretty sweet all right everybody let's check these out let's see how they look i'm excited waited long enough are you ready oh wow oh wow those look amazing heck yeah those look awesome check that out check that color shift oh yeah those are cool look at that does that not look like a baby minnow all the colors it gets gives off and stuff like that oh yeah those will work those will work I hope you guys can see that on my camera there so yeah those look amazing that color shift man it's some cool cool stuff I highly recommend trying it because you can just make some really really neat stuff with it all right let's put those in the water bath I'm gonna shoot these one more time and we'll take a look at everything we made so I thought I'd show you guys me uh, opening up the second uh, run of these uh, color shift because they're just really, really cool. Let's see if I can 
Like, look at that. They're just coming out great. This thing laminates like perfect. Like, those look so neat. Like, I know you can't really see all the crazy colors this thing is doing just under my shop lights and stuff like that. Like, like look at the bellies. Just look at all that crazy blue, fine, fine, like, glitter in that color shift. And then there's more blue on the top there. I mean, that just looks like a baby minnow like sitting on the banks of a river or a lake or a creek or something like that so i thought you just want to see them one more time so all right i'll catch up with you all here in just a minute all right everybody so here they are here's our three colors the pink lemonade slash electric chicken with our own little twist on it a little bit of pearl in it the baby bass with a little bit of pearl in the green in the bottom and then we did some color shift minnows there. I really think they all turned out really good. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I think that the minnow one is probably my favorite, even though looking back, I wish I would have put like one drop of black in it. I think it would have made it turn out maybe more of a grayish blue, but I think they'll work. They look great. Like I said, I was just learning. This is the first time I shot this mold and I wanted to pick like three colors that were way off each other. You know what I mean? But what's really crazy is you're looking at a hundred and forty four baits and I only shot this mold this epic bait mold two inch crappie slayer six times I shot this six times and I got a hundred and forty four baits out of it and this mold shoots really really easy I wanted to laminate it first thing to see how it did and they all turned out great I cannot believe how easy this mold is to use and I cannot wait to do it again in the near future but that's going to do it for this one y'all i really appreciate you watching i hope you liked what you saw here i tried to pick like three baits that were kind of like not even close to each other but yeah down in the comments again let me know what your favorite was and if you wouldn't mind please like subscribe and share and i'll see you on the next one thank you for watching